This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, stocks continued their summer rally as better than expected inflation results helped lead the markets to its fourth consecutive weekly advance. Investors hope a recent deceleration in consumer price growth will encourage the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates at a slower pace, which in turn could prevent the economy from tipping into a recession. Lower rates tend to boost prices for stocks, bonds, and even speculative assets like cryptocurrencies. The U.S. Consumer Price Index was unchanged in July compared with a consensus estimate of a two-tenths of 1% increase. While the CPI is still running at an 8.5% rate in the past year, investors are now betting that inflation has peaked and could be running at closer to 4% by year end. Now, the S&P 500 is now down less than 10% for the year having recouped more than 50% of its losses since its mid-June low. The index topped 4,231 on Friday. Now, 4,231 on the S&P marks the 50% retracement of the January-June bear market decline. Now, since 1950, the S&P 500, after falling 20% or more on a closing basis, has never retraced more than 50% of that decline and then gone on to make a lower low. If we go on to make a lower low, it would be the first time ever. While the markets can do anything, history is now in the market's favor. Remember, the market does not react to the absolutes of good or bad. It only cares if things are getting better or things are getting worse. And things are definitely better on several fronts. The July inflation data were the first all year not to disappoint the markets. Earnings exceeded expectations with 77% of companies reporting better than expected profits. The U.S. economy added 528,000 jobs in July, more than doubling the estimates for 250,000, while the unemployment rate dipped to 3.5% from 3.6%, not to mention upwardly revised job gains in the two preceding months. Consumer sentiment index rose to 55.1 in August, up from 51.5 in July, and U.S. import prices saw their first month-over-month -month decline this year. Meanwhile, the majority of investors and Wall Street pundits sit on their hands waiting for someone, anyone, to announce the bottom. They are waiting for the markets to settle down. But as I have said in the past, markets don't settle down. They settle up. And currently, underinvested fund managers and scared individual investors are sitting on the most cash in their portfolios since 2001. That represents a ton of firepower for the equity market, and it's only a matter of time for that cash to find its way into the stock market. Let me ask you, is that a buying stampede I hear on the horizon? Hey, my son Ryan and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience of building low cost, tax efficient, gold based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you have to do is text or call 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692, or just simply call 844 plan nyc that's 844 plan nyc hey this is bob payne i'm the chief investment strategist here at payne capital management